Just say, I can hear you. If you cannot hear me, please just let me know right now so that I can adjust my equipment. I believe I'm speaking to the church of God. I'm speaking to the people of God. I'm speaking to people that are spirit filled and people that love Jesus. People that walk in the fear of the Lord. I believe I'm speaking to people that walk in the fear of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Muternu, for confirming that you can hear. God bless you. God bless you as you all come in. Rabo Shende Mazai. Father, I thank you for everybody. I thank you for this broadcast. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for utterance. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for everybody that will listen. And I thank you, my Father. For our nation, Kenya, oh my God. Jibaruba Zubarai Babo Shete. Thank you, my God, for you are doing a new thing in our nation. Rabo Zebari Oh, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, He is present. He is present and He is here to speak to us. Thank you, Jesus, for the work you did on Calvary, for the price that you paid. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You know the Bible says in the book of Lamentations, Lamentations 3, from about uh, 
verse 22 to 23 it says it is because of the Lord's loving kindnesses it is because of the Lord's loving kindnesses that we are not consumed it is because of the Lord's loving kindnesses that we are not consumed that's what the Bible says in Lamentations 3 verse 22 and it goes on to say because his compassion never fails they are new every morning great and beyond measure is your faithfulness Kenya Kenya the Lord is speaking to us my name is Esther Hadassah and um, I love Jesus Christ as my Savior and um, in the past few days I have been in a lot of prayer I have been in a lot of prayer and the Spirit of God asked me to be quiet the Spirit of God asked me to be quiet I say the scripture that I read was Lamentations 3 verse 22 and 23 and I'm speaking to Kenya this broadcast is about Kenya this is not a political broadcast this is not a campaign broadcast this is strictly a broadcast for the sake and for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ it is for the sake of the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ I said that I've been in a place of prayer for the couple of days and for the past three days the Spirit of God has been hovering mightily and taken me into deeper realms of the Spirit yesterday in particular was a mighty visitation from the Lord and the Lord began to speak to me he began to speak to me because he's been showing me many things happening in the Spirit and when I tried to share these things the Lord told me I want you to be quiet do not speak about anything until I tell you to speak and so I, I obeyed I obeyed the Spirit of God and I want to tell you that yesterday when I was praying the Lord told me now you will speak what I have put in your mouth to speak and therefore I want to say to you that if you've not been seeing me on Facebook it is because I have been in a place of prayer I have not allowed myself to do many things as God wanted to get my attention even as I speak to you I'm going to bring this message to you it's not an easy message it's not an easy message because it is a message that I received myself in great trembling from God oh thank you Jesus thank you Jesus and I, even as I'm about to speak I just feel like tears will well down my eyes but I thank God for the grace. God is giving me the grace. Beloved, um, you know we have forgotten that Kenya is not ending at the election. That Kenya is not ending at the presidency. We have forgotten that. We think that Kenya is all about the election and Kenya is all about the presidency but I want to remind us one thing that we need to realize that even in nations where there have been presidents that sit in office things have happened in those nations even in nations where they are sitting presidents things happen in that nation so peace does not come from a president peace comes from God Peace does not come from an election and who we will vote for. Peace comes from God. And those who walk in the fear of God and those who believe in the Lord shall surely see that peace will reign. We need to remember that 
this election is at the beginning of a new season for Kenya. It's a beginning of a new season for Kenya. Yes, and Kenya is bigger than the election. It is bigger than who we vote for because Kenya's destiny is too big. It is bigger than the person that will become president. Kenya's destiny is too big. That's why the Lord is grieved with us. If you allow me, I'm going to read the Bible verse first that God gave me. Lamentations 2. Lamentations 2.14. The Lord says, Your prophets have seen for you false and foolish visions, and they have not exposed your wickedness. You know what, Kenya? We are being entertained politicians that are doubling in wickedness. The Lord says to us that he's tired of the witchcraft. The Lord specifically took me to the If you read the book of Isaiah 59, the Lord is speaking from there to Kenya. I'll read some of the parts very fast. I'll read some of the parts in Isaiah 59. I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I don't know what is going on. Can you hear me? Hello? All right, can you hear me now? Rachel, confirm that you can hear me. You see that the sound is low. Okay, thank you very much. Isaiah 59 says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not so short that it cannot save, nor his ear so impaired that it cannot hear, but your wickedness, your wickedness has separated you from God and your sins. Your sins have hidden his face from you so that he does not hear. Listen to the next verse. Isaiah 59 3 says, For your hands are defiled with blood. For your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with wickedness. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue mutes wickedness. If you read on to verse number four, it says, they conceive trouble and bring forth injustice. If you read number five, it says, they hatch vipers' eggs and weave the spider's webs. And then number six, I'm, I'm, I'm not reading everything. I'm just skipping to give you what is important. Verse number six says, their works are works of wickedness. And the act of violence is in their hands. The act of violence is in their hands. And number seven says, their feet run to evil and they rush to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of wickedness, devastation, and destruction is in their highways. They do not know the way of peace and there is no justice in their trust. You can read the rest of it in your own time. But I want to say to you that this is what the Lord told me. That it is well with the righteous. It is well with the righteous. But it is not well with the wicked in Kenya in this season. It is not well with the wicked. And the Lord showed me that the sword, his sword, his sword was going to fall into the land of Kenya. And it would fall on the wicked, not on the righteous. Because the wicked have rejected, they have rejected justice, they have rejected truth. The Lord has pleaded with men, but they continue to contend with God. The Lord is not pleased. Mr. Politician, the Lord is not pleased. We cannot continue like this every plant that a man has to shed innocent blood god has seen those plants 
And I can tell you that the Lion of Judah, I saw him. I saw the throne room of God and the glory of God filled his temple. And then I saw a warrior dressed in traditional regalia. And he was ready with a spear, ready to attack. But then I saw the Lion of Judah emerge from the light and he came forth as a bold lion to confront that warrior. And what I believe that warrior is, is that spirit that has come into our nation. It's a tribal spirit that wants to divide and destroy. But it is using men. But the Lion of Judah, that is Jesus Christ, he is rowing in behalf of his children. I want to tell you something. The message that the Lord gave me came from Isaiah 59. And the Lord also said to me, tell my children to cover themselves in the blood. Tell my children that their hiding place is in my blood. Tell them, tell them that this is a Passover season. And I will only pass over. I will pass over where there is blood. I will protect. But those who have refused and rejected, Jesus have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. The Lord told me to tell us only the blood. Only his blood is a sure guarantee of your protection, my protection, and the protection of Kenya as a nation in this is. And the Lord told me to tell the priesthood that we have failed him. The priesthood that should have spoken the truth to the politicians. You have failed the Lord. We have failed Jesus. And right now I can tell you the truth. That there is a shakeup in Kenya. There is a shakeup. And Kenya is going to be shaken. Kenya is going to be shaken not because God doesn't love us, but because Haggai 2.7 says, I will shake all the nations and they will come with their wealth of all nations and I will fill this house with glory. The Lord will shake us because we are in covenant with him. Kenya is a covenant nation. And there's something about Kenya that must happen. And there is no man that can stand in the way of what God wants to do. Whether they shed the blood of cows, whether they shed the blood of chickens, whether they shed the blood of innocent Kenyans, you cannot stand in the way of the Lord. You will not stand in the way of the Lord. Be warned, Mr. Politician. The Lord can see his eyes. His eyes see everywhere. His eyes can see everything. Ecclesiastes 12, 14 says, for God will bring every deed into judgment. Every deed into judgment with every secret thing, whether good or evil. God is going to bring it into judgment. So if people think that they will hide and do things and cover up, God, Jesus, is seeing everything. And I'm telling you, I'll say it as the Lord says it, it is well with the righteous, but it is not well with the wicked. And we must pray for the men and women in our country. Let us pray for our politicians to hear the Lord's voice. This first day of August 2017, because the Lord told me, told me, in the next seven days, my priests, those that are called by my name, they must hide themselves in consecration, in prayer and in fasting for the next seven days. And this is because of what the enemy has planned over our nation. 
Yes, we could be all excited about who is going to be president, but let me tell you, Kenya's destiny is bigger than the president. Kenya's life is bigger than the president. Let us not be so consumed with who will be that we forget our peace comes from Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Psalm 94.23 Psalm 94.23 says, He has brought their wickedness upon them and will destroy them in their evil. The Lord God will destroy them. The Lord is dealing with the foundation of Kenya. The Lord is shaking the foundation. The word of God says, if the foundations are shaken, what shall the righteous do? The Kenya that we know has got to go through this process. The process that God is taking us right now is a process of purging. The Lord is purging our land for the sake of the glory because God is ready to pour out his glory into our land. The revival of this nation is not going to be bathed from an old wineskin. The revival of this nation is going to be bathed from a new wineskin. And therefore, it is Psalm 9423. Psalm 9423. People of God, I just want to ask us to pray. I want to ask us to go before God in real humility because that is what he said. For the next seven days, real humility from our nation. The priesthood, the priesthood, the Lord is calling us back to truth because we have almost, almost failed God. Almost. But God, because he is God, he knows how he's going to bring us into the place that he has spoken about in his word. What you're seeing in Kenya, God already knows about it. And God is saying to us, cover yourself. Cover your household with the blood. I will repeat, he told me, it is a season when we will see high and mighty men falling. It is a season when we will see many men going down. But it is not because he doesn't love us. God's mercy, God's mercy is new every morning. And God, God is merciful towards Kenya. But, but we must, we must now honor God in truth. We must honor God in truth. We must, the priesthood, you cannot sleep in bed with the politicians. You cannot, you cannot tell the politicians it is well. You cannot tell them, peace be with you, when the Lord is saying that they need to repent. May the Lord Jesus show us mercy. May the Lord Jesus show us mercy. You know, let me tell you something. Even if you read the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel 13, 14 says that even the wicked foundations, the whitewashed foundations, they will be left bare. In other words, when God is doing a new thing, he shakes up the old. He uncovers the dirt. He reveals the mess. He exposes conspiracies. He exposes the hearts of men. He exposes their plans. And I'll tell you, child of God, if you have been praying, don't be surprised by what is happening in Kenya because your prayers have bathed 
the process that Kenya must go through. Your prayers have birthed what you're seeing in Kenya. If you are telling God, have your way in Kenya, if you are telling God, thy will be done in Kenya, then what you are seeing right now is the Lord's will because the Lord has to correct the mess. Out of the mess of Kenya will come the great revival because after the Lord has exposed the mess, after the Lord has cleaned it up, he has allowed us to see it with our eyes. After the Lord has allowed us to see it in broad daylight, the in injustices, the violence, the shedding of blood. After the Lord has allowed us to see the corruption, it is because he wants us to align ourselves to him. He wants us to align ourselves to righteousness. So the Lord is only allowing us to see this because he wants us to go back to him and cry for mercy for the sake of Kenya. Kenya is you and I. Kenya is the politicians. Kenya is the government. Kenya is the doctors. Kenya is the churches. And therefore, we are witnessing what we are seeing now because the Lord is saying, see, see the mess that is in your country. See the mess that is in the political circles. See the mess. See with your own eyes. And then know that if you see it as a human being and you are displeased, what of me as your father in heaven, what do I feel? The Lord has allowed us to see it. Now it's time to act. Now it's time to pray and say, Lord, we are in a mess. But bring us out of the mess. Bring us out of the mess by your spirit. Because we have been walking in deception. We think that it ends with the election. No, Kenya has a destiny, a great destiny. Kenya has to birth a revival. And so these things we are seeing are not about an election, but about the destiny of Kenya. So it's time to pray. The Lord says the next seven days, pray. But in truth, truth, repent for the priesthood. Plead for mercy because of the priesthood. Plead for mercy because of the witchcrafts. Because one of the things that the Lord has shown greatly, I cannot share everything, but I can tell you in this week, there are many things that the Lord show, was showing to me that are not nice, they are heavy, they are weighty matters, weighty. But anyone, and I'll repeat, anyone that thinks they can contend with the Lord, any man, politician or otherwise, that thinks that they can contend with the Lord, they are in for a shock. Because God, no man can stand in the way of the Lord. No man. God is not a respecter of persons. So there is no man can contend with Jehovah and win. No man. It's not time to relax, children of God. The next seven days, seven is the number of perfection. Seven is the number of completion. Before God, let us humble ourselves and pray right. And remember, the only place to hide is where Jesus is. You can join all the arguments online where everybody is abusing each other and everybody is saying this and that and the other. But I'll tell you something, the salvation of Kenya is in the hands of Jesus Christ. The salvation of our nation is in the hands of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is about to prove that to the whole of Kenya. Jesus Christ is going to prove that to us. We will see it. We will see it. We will see that the Lord Jesus himself will prove himself as the salvation of Kenya. We cannot run to men, we cannot run to witch doctors, we cannot run to sorcerers. We cannot shed innocent blood. The plans we have 
that we think are hidden from God. God has exposed those plans. God has exposed them. You will see it with your own eyes that the Lord is not a man to lie. You will see it with your own eyes that the Lord, indeed, he is very merciful. He's very merciful, very merciful. But the Lord, he is also a consuming fire. He is a consuming fire. Kenya. Even after the elections, Kenya still remains, and we will still need God. We will still need God, even after the election. So right now we can be busy praying because of the election, but it is beyond the election. It is bigger than the election. It is bigger than politics. What we are seeing right now is bigger than politics. The expose. What you're seeing, the dirt that is coming out, the filth that is being pulled out, the Lord is pulling it out. He is. It is a season of exposure. Exposure. And I'll tell you, God does not mind to expose anybody. It doesn't matter whether they have a name or no name. God will expose men in this season. And as he exposes them, you go back and pray for them. Go back and pray for them. Pray for them. That those that are bent on doing evil, that those that are bent on making sure that Kenya bleeds, they will turn around and they will hear the voice of the Lord. Pray for them. Pray for the protection of those that are contending. Pray for the protection of the Honorable Raila Odinga, Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta. Pray. Pray for the University of Nairobi. Pray for Islands. Pray for Ukambani area. Pray for Luyaland and pray for Nyanza. Those are places that the Lord has shown me in visions that need a lot of prayer. Now pray. God bless you for listening to this word. And may God's peace keep you. And may the peace of Kenya reign. May the peace of the Lord reign. Let it reign. We thank you, Jesus, because our salvation is in your hands. Kenya is in your hands. And only your mercy sustains us. Have a good day. God bless you.